Hello again, I'm Mike Mazzalongo and this is the Bible Talk video blog. Today's blog entry is entitled School Days, spelled D-A-Z-E. Well, the Bible doesn't mention the back to school experience, but there are a couple of principles that might make the experience a little smoother for both. I suggest that kids and parents read the following passages to each other in order to help the process along. Okay, kids read to parents the following. Much study is a weariness to the flesh, Ecclesiastes chapter 12, verse 12. You see, parents tend to think that sitting in school is not difficult and they dismiss the efforts made by their children. We need to realize that school is work and children need rest and encouragement in order to do it well. All right, parents, you need to read to kids the following. Study to show yourself approved unto God, 2 Timothy chapter 2, verse 15. Paul, the apostle, was encouraging Timothy to study the scriptures in order to be a good minister. But the principle still applies today. There's not success without effort. If you want to get good grades, if you want to excel in sports, you have to work for it. There's more to school than just showing up. You've got to make an effort. Okay, kids, you read to parents the following. Fathers, do not exasperate your children that they may lose heart. Colossians chapter 3, verse 21. In modern language, dad, give them a break. Kids are only kids. They need time to mature. Don't make the rules so tough. Don't make the standards so high that they're beaten before they start. Okay, one last time. Parents now read to kids. Choose this day who you will serve. Joshua chapter 24, verse 15. Every temptation will be presented to you at school. The victory for Christ will be won before you even leave the house if you decide ahead of time who you will serve. Christ or the world. So why not start the school year right and gather as a family for prayer to ask for God's blessings on both parents and kids to make this the best year ever. Well, that's it for now. I'm Mike Mazzalongo and you've been watching the Bible Talk video blog. Hope to see you again next time. Bye-bye.